Hi there, it's Martin Salter from the free video guides at easyinternetguides.com and in this video we're going to look at how you zip and unzip content using Windows 7. So if you've got Windows 7 already, what a lot of people actually don't realise is you can actually zip up content or unzip content without the need for buying software like WinZip or getting WinRAV or whatever else you want to choose. There are free software solutions out there as well and later on in this post um, on the site you can actually see um, a video where we show you how to use some free software as well. And there's times when you want to be using some of the more complicated software that's out there. But if you've got Windows 7, it's really easy to do. And I'm going to just show you how you do it now. Take care, we've got two files. And these are files we've done early on. But these two here, literally two text files. They could be any type of file. They could be MP4s, MP3s, um, whatever it is you like. And you can zip them up using Windows. So you, all you do is you take the file, uh, let's take this one, and you right click, and you go to send to and compress zip folder. And straight away, it creates a folder with the zip content. And it's that easy inside of Windows 7. And again, most people don't realize it. Well, you might cry, well, hang on a minute. I want to send a collection of files to people. How do I do that? It's easy. You left click on the first file. Hold down the shift key and choose a second. The other way to do it is to hold down uh, the control key. And the reason why I say that is if we had like five files here, if you left click on the top one, held down the shift key and left clicked on the bottom, it would highlight all of them in between. Uh, or you can just use the control key and manually select the ones you want to zip up. And then again, you right click, go to send to, compress file. And hey presto, it'll name it with the first one in the list. And if you double click, you can have a look at the content. Let's get rid of this just to show you. Let's delete those. So now we don't have any files anymore. We've actually been sent by somebody else a demo file. And we're thinking, how do I extract this information in order for me to actually uh, contact or access it? Uh, well, there's a couple of ways you can do it. The first one is you could right click and you could choose open with. Windows Explorer will choose, and you choose OK, and Windows Explorer will actually create a folder. It'll actually create a folder for you with the two files in that you could view. The other way you can do it, we actually want to have them as a file itself that you can access later, is if you right click and choose Extract All. And if you look here, if I go to the end here, it's going to create a file called demo file exactly where I am now and I choose extract and it's because I had the tick box selected it's showing me the files if I go back a step you can see there's the demo file and here's the new file that's been created just to show you that again what I'll do this time is I'll delete the folder and this time we'll right click extract all I'll uncheck to show me the box and we'll hit extract and what it's done now is it's created that folder, double click, there's our two files. That's how easy it is to zip up files and to extract files using Windows 7. And if you watch previous videos that we have on our site, such as FTP, once you've zipped up files, it's now easy for you to transfer these files as a zipped collection of fold files together in as one for you to send content to other people. So if you've got an email program that's too big, you can upload it using FTP. Or in this case, if the files are quite small, rather than having to attach now 10 different files to uh, sending some, uh, we're sending art flow uh, pictures, a collection of the latest images that we have, rather than sending them one by one, we could just zip them up like this, send um, art flow the one file, and then you could also link to this video to show her how that she can extract them if she's got Windows 7. Thanks for watching.